<laughs> Welcome to the Fifth Dimensional Academy of Higher Consciousness. Today is May 1st and I'm broadcasting from Stockholm, Sweden, live. Um, it's nice to be back here in Scandinavia. I'd like to welcome you all joining me today. And um, we're just going to start with a very short meditation. And then if you have any questions, just write it on the chat box. For those of you who are uh, new with me, it's your first time being on the Academy. Um, we have to mute all everyone because devices make funny noises. But you're welcome to. Um, write on the chat box after the meditation and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions uh, to the best of my ability. Okay, so let's just take a moment, dive inside yourself and divert your attention inwardly and bring your attention on the source of where your thoughts arise, where your emotions arise. Just bring your attention to the source. Instead of keeping your attention on your thoughts or being involved with any kind of activities, mantras or any symbols or visualization, simply bring your attention towards where everything is being observed and being noticed and where everything is arises from. Just you bring your attention inside to one pointedness and keep your attention there and just breathe naturally. You don't need to do any kind of exercise. Just simply be here now in this moment, suspended in the air without any agenda to get anywhere or to accomplish anything. You're simply here. And take a deep breath and just relax and allow meditation to come to you rather than forcing it. Just bring, uh, breathe naturally, effortlessly. Allow your thoughts to travel through your mind. Stay in this place that you have no preference. Whatever comes is welcome and whatever leaves, it's welcome. Just allow movement to take place while you are remaining still and silent.
simply staying in your natural state without being involved with any goals, any plans, any agendas. You are simply here, suspended in space. Lost at last, but here, here and now. Just keep your attention inwards and don't get involved with your thoughts or your emotions. You're simply here, you're aware of them, but you're not involved. You're not trying to push them away. You're not doing, trying to manipulate anything. You're simply here. And aware. Slowly, slowly come back. Come back here, slowly, slowly. So meditation, once you begin to become familiar with the space, which is within yourself, it's always here, then meditation becomes very simple and it doesn't have to be formal. It can easily happen at any moment that you bring your attention inwards. You come back to yourself, you come back to here. Meditation can only happen in this moment. It can't happen in any future moment or past. So if you are involved with your thoughts or your emotions, which basically it's a story coming from your past, which has nothing to do with this moment, then you're out of meditation. You're involved with some sort of story. So as a part of the practice, everyday practice that we do is bringing our attention into here, to this moment, coming to this place here, which is very safe and it's home, coming back home. And as you make this your practice, simply 
coming back to this moment, coming back home. And since you're coming back to your real nature, then the magic takes place and existence naturally makes things easy for you. And it makes it very simple that you can easily dive into the space because you're more familiar with the space. You are practicing every day of bringing back yourself home to here. And naturally you're gonna be spending more time in here. And when you leave here and you go get lost in the world of thoughts, or you're really swept away by your emotions, you're gonna notice it's very natural, unnatural, and uncomfortable. So what used to be a norm and a comfortable zone means being lost in your thoughts, in the stream of your thoughts, and, and being very much identified with your feelings and your story that is being played in your mind, your story, okay? What used to be your norm, now it's becoming unnatural. Now you come to this place that when you're lost in the stream of your thoughts, you feel weird, you, feel, you don't feel comfortable. And in that uncomfortable place, you come back, you lead yourself back into now. So this level of being, this your new state of mind, your new state of discovery of your being becomes more natural than ever before of simply being here, simply being storyless, not having your story. It doesn't matter how significant it is, you just have no story, you have no past, and you have no future, and you're just here. And here keeps repeating itself, because the next moment is another here, and the next moment is here. So here is always fresh. What's coming in front of you and going and going is becomes always fresh. So it refreshes itself. And all of a sudden your quality of life changes because everything becomes new. Your life keeps refreshing itself and everything is new. And you begin to see that there is infinite possibilities. Even though you've been doing the same thing over and over again, you go to the same job or you're doing through, going through your same routine that you've been doing for years or whatever, same partner, same school, same whatever, then you start to see it that it's really not the same and it's different and it's fresh. You begin to experience freshness in, in your life. And what was routine and dull and boring, which is only in the mind, it's a thought that comes and tells you, ah, everything's boring, ah, it's the same thing, ah, nothing's happening in my life, which is simply a series of thoughts, then these thoughts begin to either disappear, or if they're appearing in your mind, you identify them simply as thoughts, and they become power powerless. Because thoughts, thoughts, your thoughts have no power. I don't care what kind of thoughts you have. You have holy thoughts, or you have destructive thoughts, they have no power, they're meaningless. 
even what you think is your mind and it's your mind it's your mind like an object belongs to you and it's very important it becomes meaningless it has has no substance to it because you're coming back and your attention is going towards the real you which is presence that which is here that is which has always been here that which is aware of what is happening here and what is coming and going in front of it a constant flow of change is happening in front of something which is not changing something is always here present and still not moving observing aware here and is aware of everything that is passing in front of it and it's call it time time is passing so many times we say oh my god i didn't realize how much time went by i was having so much fun and five hours four hours went by i didn't realize it time went by i didn't realize time was passing okay so how do you know time is passing how do you know a few hours went by you have to be still rooted in one place to notice that something is changing like you may say okay i'm looking at the day you know from morning from six o'clock in the morning when sun is rising till six o'clock in the evening where sun is setting i saw that a movement happened the sun arose and it came to the full day and the sun goes down and the night comes now you're aware of the night of the evening how are you aware of these things to what these things getting compared to there must be something here that's not going through change it's not being touched it's not aging it's not getting sick it's not getting stained it's always here present and aware aware of you aware of your movements aware of your thoughts your state of affair your emotional ups and downs aware of you when you sleep even aware of you going to sleep something here doesn't change yet it's observing change and reporting change so you bring your attention to that and then you see that you are free then you see that what you think is suffering your is not happening to you then you see the stories that come up your childhood your stories you've been hurt you've been damaged you've been that, that, that all the things that happen they disappear they have no room and no power in here and now it's like mist and fog it's really misty it's very foggy but the sun is rising as the sun is rising and the heat and the rays are coming the mist begin to disappear and go away
So the story that we get involved, whatever it is, how horrible it is, how much we think has affected us, or maybe we have been scarred, or we have picked up entities and their beings that they are coming to you, or their beings that talking to you, or they're going through you, or whatever. Whatever is the story, I don't care. I don't care if it's great or it's horrible. Whatever is happening, that story disappears. It becomes meaningless. It doesn't mean anything. You begin to see that. You begin to see your own story is meaningless. It has no meaning. Zero. And then you don't want to carry it because it's weight. You're carrying weight and it brings you down. It makes you grow old, makes you sick, makes your spinal cord to bend, brings you pain and aches and all kinds of things. It doesn't bring anything good. There's nothing good comes out of your story except misery. So it's better to let it go by being here. And by being here, you don't really have to do anything. You're simply bringing your attention inward towards yourself not your story not your thoughts not your emotions not your body that which is aware of all of them to that one then what happens is the more you do this the more you stay here the more you refuse to get involved with your story because you have there has to be a willingness for those of you who really seek freedom there has to be a willingness to let to be here and not go into the story some of you are not ready for that and you're used to and addicted to the story so you like to go there and play this old tape recorder over and over again. It's like a broken record that keeps going over and over again. So there are people, a lot of people on this planet that they're not ready. They need to stay in their story. But those who are seeking freedom and they want to wake up and they want to free themselves from the cycle of this cycle, imaginary cycle of life and death and fear and anxiety, fear, anxiety of death, fear, anxiety of old age, fear, anxiety of what's going to happen to me, fear and anxiety that I'm going to be left out lonely for the rest of my life. Nobody's going to love me. Nobody wants to be with me. What's going to happen to me, 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 me? For those of us, who want to free ourselves from that, this is the remedy. This is the way out. There's no other way. Any other way you take, you're just fooling yourself. It's an entertainment for your mind. You know, you're giving your mind a little cookie. You're giving your mind a banana. You're giving your mind, you know, a piece of chocolate, something to entertain itself, to postpone its demolition, to postpone its death. Because the mind doesn't want to let go. It wants to linger around. And it's a, as a slave, it's a great servant. If you come on the top and recognize it, that it's not who you are, 
then it's a great tool and it will serve you. It will do things. You can use its power for things. But as who you think you are, then it's a butcher. It will butcher you. As it's been doing it all this time, with all these fears and worries, anxiety, all the stuff that comes up, they're the products of your mind. And you buy it because you think it's real. You think it's who you are. And by repeating your story over and over again and going into it, then you're reinforcing your mind. You're reinforcing a bundle of thoughts that then again, they're meaningless and they have no power when it comes to this moment, when you come to here. And if you don't believe me, you can examine it for yourself. It's very simple. It's very simple. It's nothing really extraordinary that you have to do something. You don't need to go to India. You don't need to become vegetarian or shave your head or be celibate or give up your cigarettes or drink or whatever. You don't have to do anything. You simply bring your attention inwards to this moment. You come here and you come to now and examine for yourself. Examine it for yourself. You tell me when you come here in this moment, what's troubling you? What, what's hunting you when you're here in this moment? What is happening? What has power over you? So when you do this sincerely, you see that there is nothing. And whatever that comes, it's coming from the past. It's not coming from here. So you're really free. You're not in a cage and you're not in slavery. You're really free when you're here. And that's a very small price to pay to be free. <laughs> Anybody has any questions? So How are you Natalie doing, my dear? Huh? Natalie huh? has raised her hand. Who? Natalie has raised her hand. Do you see Natalie? I'm going to unmute her. Or you want to talk to uh, Marit first? Go ahead. Hi, Marit. Hello, hello, sister. How are you? Fine. Nice to see you again. Yeah, nice to see you too. Did you have a good train ride back home? Yes, very yeah. good. Cost. Yeah. yeah. Back in no time. Well, it's nice to see you again. Welcome back. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, hi, Natalie. I just unmuted you. Let's see if it's working. Okay. Hi, Natalie. Hi. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank God. Still breathing and alive and here. That's good. <laughs> okay, you have a question for me? Uh, no, I'm just uh, thankful for being able to watch you and hear you. Um, I have been on this spiritual path for a while now. Um, I'm actually um have uh, gotten educated uh, in uh, spiritual therapy okay so it's been here in sweden so 
Oh, you're here in, uh, where in Sweden are you? Uh, right now I'm in Borås. It's close to Gothenburg. Okay. You know I will be in Gothenburg next week. Oh, wow. Yeah. And next Wednesday evening I'm having, <laughs> I'm having an event. It's the, the 5D Quantum Awareness yeah. talk and transmission and it's a free event so I hope you come and visit me there. Uh, that would be amazing if I would be able to. Um, the thing is that I'm a single mom and it's just me and my son so it's kind of hard for me to get away. Uh, I don't have anybody who can be a babysitter. That's okay. The, yeah. Well, I'll come and babysit for you How's that? <laughs> and you go to my event. Yeah. That would be nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you may be amazed if you have a desire to come maybe and sometimes existence does it's ma not sometimes existence yeah. does it's magic and uh, somebody magically may show up out of nowhere but I just wanted to let you know that I will be in Gothenburg I'm having an event next Wednesday it's a free event you're welcome to come and the following night on Thursday I'm having a shamanic circle it's a group healing circle and then I'm having a two-day workshop so anyway I, I hope if you get a chance you come and visit if not you're always welcome to join me at the Academy and uh, you may want to let your friends know if they're interested in meeting me in person they're welcome to come and visit us all my information is on my website zarathustra.tv I really hope so. I, I hope the universe works in my favor so I can come to see you. Well, it already has. You're here. And yeah. You're here with me, so, so obviously existence loves you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, sweetheart. Hi, Evie. Hi, hi. Nice to see you again. Thanks, the same to you. Welcome back. Thank you. Long time no see. Yep, just a place. <laughs> Still peaceful. I'm happy to hear that. That's good. I'm happy. I'm very happy for you. Stay here in this place and you will keep continuing feeling the bliss that you're feeling now. Don't go anywhere. Just stay here. Yeah. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Hi, Cecilia. Hello, how are you? Hi. Hello, my dear sister. Hi. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Yeah, thank you for your lovely message. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to get back with you. You have been on my mind, so it's very nice to see you again. And uh, thank you for all of your love, your devotion, and and all of the time you devoted and you donated to to the cause i'm very grateful to you oh, no. yeah My pleasure, always. yeah yeah so we're holding a space for you in order by the way <laughs> okay <laughs> we're gonna roommate you with shadi i know you and shadi like each other <laughs> yeah <we do. laughs> okay Hmm. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Uh, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Nice to see you. you. Likewise. Yeah. Hopefully, we get to see you at one of the events in Stockholm or Gothenburg. I, I come on Wednesday to Gothenburg. Okay. Yeah. On Wednesday. Oh, yeah. Gothenburg. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I get it. Great. I look forward to seeing you. Yeah, I look yeah. forward to seeing you too. And we're having the 5D um, initiation on the 18th of May here in Stockholm. And I'm inviting you officially, all of you. <laughs> it's going to be a day of the uh, teachings, activation, and then we do the initiation. 
And after that, it's the celebration. We're going to be sharing food and dancing and enjoying and sharing with each other. It's a potluck. And um, you're all welcome to join me. I look forward to see you all. It's a free event. So I hope I get to see your beautiful faces and connect. <laughs> Hi, Antares. Hi. Hello. How Hello. are you? Yeah, nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Everything's good? Yes. Yeah, yeah you look good and happy. Mm -hmm. Happy to hear that. Yeah. yeah. Hello, Miss Hilda. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Long time hello. no see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it, I think it's 12 hours or 24 hours. Yeah, it's 24 hours. Yeah. <laughs> are you good or are you tired? No, I, uh, I was tired a little bit in the morning, but I'm good now. Happy to hear that. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. So, <laughs> all is well and had a nice afternoon with uh, Pia and Artie and they're here. They're in my place right now. I don't know if you get to see them or not. Oh yeah, they are online. Yeah. So <laughs> we, had a, <laughs> we had a nice afternoon together. So we, we, we didn't want to separate. So... So I ask them if they want to come and do the be here at, uh, doing the academy with me instead of going home and getting on a on a computer. So yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy people, I love that. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> There are so many moments that happen in, in during the day that I may not, I will not get engaged with either the phone or my laptop or anything. And there are moments that it's just, you're hanging out by yourself. You're at the presence of the, of the, of Her Majesty, the Supreme. You're quiet, you're here, and you're not engaged with anything. And you catch yourself that a series of moments have gone by and there hasn't been any thoughts. And of course, maybe a thought comes that I'm not thinking, but once you start to exercise or practice your natural state of being, which is to be here right now, and divert your attention inwardly, and this becomes a habit of yours, then you start to catch yourself on short, long periods of time, that you are somewhere and you have no thoughts and it's very very quiet and peaceful and this peace quiet that you start to experience it grows it's kind of like weed and that is rec receiving water and sun and it starts growing and it gets into, it grows into your aura. And it gets bigger and bigger and keeps expanding. And what happens, and it starts to affect your surrounding. It starts to affect whatever is in your home, 
whatever your neighbors around wherever you go if you go to a coffee shop if you're in an airplane you're in a bus you're in a train whatever you're doing you're traveling wherever you are and it starts affecting affecting your surrounding and that is how you change the world if you're concerned for those of you asking me that how do I change the world and how do I affect the world and how do I help humanity? And you're very passionate about it and you really feel like it's your responsibility to help humanity, then your first and most responsibility becomes working on yourself and coming to here to this place rather than being in the story because if you're going to be involved in the story of the world and life then you're really not contributing to life you just your contribution is more chaos more uncertainty and more fear and anxiety your true contribution to humanity is to emanate love and peace but there is this misconfusion about love and peace a lot of people come and they go on strong demonstrations and they get very angry and they become very violent they're on a peace demonstration and they're very angry so how can we bring peace to the world by a bunch of angry people there would never be any peace in the world. If you want to have peace in the world and we want a better world, then we have to find peace within ourselves first. You have to become peaceful within yourself. If you don't do that, if you don't become peaceful within yourself, then you cannot transmit that wisdom and that state of being that know-how to anyone else because you haven't learned that you haven't figured it out yourself and you're expecting a world that is reflecting your level of consciousness to give you peace and the world that you're looking at and you're experiencing is an animation of your state of consciousness so it can't give you any peace because you haven't discovered peace yourself. You have to find peace within and come to that place and not just be there for a moment or two or half a day because things are going your way. Staying in that place all the time, being in that place even when things are not going your way. Even if you lose your money in stock market or even if your partner leaves you or things are not going in the way the direction you want them to go and you're still staying in the peaceful state within yourself even when you get bad news about your health you get bad news about your family's health you stay you still stay in a peaceful place i'm not talking about that you're not feeling anything you're not experiencing your emotions. You're not feeling sad because someone close to you is dying. You're concerned about the welfare of your family. I'm not talking about that. That's very natural. But I'm talking about that you have this discovered peace within yourself. And you stay peaceful and calm and connected and you feel the love which is here and out of that you begin to love and accept yourself and as you feel that you're loving you're accepting yourself you're not in a duality with yourself peace comes surrender comes and you come to this place and you begin to feel love continuously 
And whichever direction you, you go to, this love comes with you in that direction. And this love gets transmuted to others and your surrounding. And that's how we contribute to this world. That's how we bring peace and love, tranquility, balance into this world. We change ourselves first by learning how to be here in this moment, by learning how to be present and how to not fall into the story, the story of the mind. You started with your own story because it's very easy to point out finger at other people and telling other people, oh, such and such is in her story. Get over it, drop it. Well, no, you have to do it yourself first. You gotta drop your own story. And you can't drop your story with the mind. It's impossible. You have to, you drop your story with the heart means you have to come from here to here by moving beyond the mind by sinking into the heart space i'm not talking about an emotional heart space that's still up and down emotional not a wave of emotion that oh my god i feel so much love and that normally turns into anger and hate because that's what comes next. No, coming into the real love, the true love, which is always stems and comes from here, from this moment, coming back to this place, pulling yourself back here and being quiet and then you connect to your own being your presence and you get to see your presence and those of you who've been with me you have touched seen felt you have had glimpses of yourself you have seen yourself at times and you know how beautiful it is you know how blissful it is. You know how quiet, peaceful it is when you get in touch with yourself. Not your story. Yourself. The presence. When you come back to this place here within yourself, 
just know one thing. If you don't know anything else, know only one thing and know that your being and your essence is pure love. Love is what you're made out of. And it's your natural birthmark, being love. And don't objectify it. It's simply here and it's love. And it's your birthright. And it belongs to you. And nobody can take that away from you because that's who you are. And let that be the source of all of your actions. Let that be the source of your thoughts, the source of your speech, and your decisions come from that place. In your wheeling and dealing with anything in life, you come from this place. come from this place that when you're making a decision, whatever is outcome, that of course you wish it to be the best for you, that it serves the others with love as well. So you make that the basis of your decisions and you move from there. And then this love, which is here, will guide you, will take you home. It will surround you. It will dance around you. It will play around you. It will never leave you. It will always be with you. But it has to start with you first. And you have to come to this place of loving yourself in this moment, here, away from your story, whatever is your story, removed from it. I'd like to thank you all for joining me today. 
as uh, I mentioned before, I have a um, coming event on, on May 3rd here in Stockholm. Uh, it's a free event. It's on Friday and it is from 6.30 to 9.30, right? Three hour event in Bune Academy. All the information is on my website. It's a two hour event from 6.30 to 8.30. Uh, it's about 5D quantum awareness. It's the continuation of 5D quantum awareness that I started it in Los Angeles. Is basically how we can operate and live in this life, in this world, and bring our fifth dimensional awareness into our ordinary life. How do we op operate in this life from a higher level of consciousness? Uh, after that, I will be going to Gothenburg, and I do have another um, uh, free event, and another 5D quantum awareness talk in Gothenburg, followed the night after that on Thursday evening, May 9th, I'm having a shamanic uh, healing circle, and then Saturday and Sunday, I'm having the 5D quantum awareness workshop which is a two-day workshop in Gothenburg. I come back to Stockholm and uh, we have two more events on the 16th of May which is another uh, free event 5D quantum awareness and then on the 18th we're having it's our initiation day and feel free to go on my website zartustra.tv um, to get information regarding the initiation day, please RSVP. You can go on my website and and uh, register and let us know because uh, the space is limited and we really need to know uh, how many people are coming so we can accommodate you all. Again, thank you very much for joining me. Love you all, sending you lots of love and light to wherever you're at and keep in touch and keep connected. Namaste.